Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Osterberger with BIC Magazine. We are at Turner Industries in Pasadena at an open house for the new personnel and training center. I'm here with Stevie Toops, CEO of Turner Industries. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Appreciate y'all coming out. Absolutely. Stevie, congrats on the uh, the title and the uh, new role for the company. Um, I'm, I also wanted to get right into the why we're here today. So Stevie, Thanks. tell us about the new facility. It's exciting. Yeah, it is a new building, but it's something that we started a couple years back, maybe almost a decade back now, Jeremy. We realized that it's the people that make a difference for us. It's the people that work for Turner. And the ability to have everything in one spot. We know someone can make a decision to come to work for us, and they're going to get all their employment paperwork. They're going to get their safety cards. They're going to get their site-specific work. They'll get their NCCR certifi certifications, fit tests, everything right here. What used to take three days or five days to get into the field, you can have somebody come in in the morning, come out before lunch, ready to go to work. That's exciting. I mean, that's the business that you and I grew up in. We got people now who can go to work and learn, be in there making money faster than ever. So it's very, very exciting. It's something you had asked me before. We, we did this in, in Baton Rouge. We, we tested it there. We did it in Lake Charles. We built an office just like this. We took everything that was wrong with the building in Baton Rouge. We improved it and put it into the building in Lake Charles, which was phenomenal. We put thousands of people to work through that building that we couldn't have ever done if we didn't have it. And so we just say, hey, well, if that was good, if you make it about 50% bigger, then it's going to work even better. And so it's Texas, gang, and, and everything's bigger in Texas. So we made it 50% bigger, and that's what you're standing in today. And so, Stevie, uh, this, the, other, the other locations where you have something similar, you said uh, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles, uh, where else is that? Yeah. Well, here, and then we're going to begin replicating this model everywhere we go as we move different places. We have smaller versions of this. That would be a smaller version down in Port Lavaca, different places. But these are the big three hubs that we have. Right. And as we move into another one, we will not proceed again without a facility like this to support us. You can't do it. And, and Stevie, to cover kind of some of the services offered here, everything from uh, recruiting and processing, medical, we talk about craft verification, uh, the safety council room that I just toured in the back. So it's really incredible. Oh, yeah. And, and look, I know you'll probably go back there later, but one of the big things is we're trying to drive efficiencies into the market. You know, what, what are the efficient, how do we get better at what we do? Our clients ask us that all the time. Well, one of the things is we're beginning uh, with this rope access. Mm -hmm. now, I'm, I'm sure you'll get to see a piece of it. But we have a spot that was custom built in here where our team that does rope access can come in and they can train, they can hone their skills. Yeah, practice makes perfect, right? And perfect practice makes perfect. And we believe by giving these men and women some place to practice skills like that, and be it moving things or checking out scaffolding, we now have an indoor room where they can do uh, training, Turner style, all in one spot. And uh, Stevie, talk about the impetus of this. You know, how, about how long was this in the making? You know? Well, this building was like six years ago. We bought this land man, over a decade and a half ago, knowing there was something like this that we wanted to do. Uh, but again, we began thinking about the model almost maybe 10, 20 years ago, that what can we do to differentiate ourselves, to make it, how do you become easier to do business with? That's a question you ask no matter what you're in. How do you become easier to do business with? And that was one of the things that we wanted to know. And the answer was very, very simple. Let's get people out into the field a whole lot faster, a whole lot simpler. And really, I'd love to tell you, it is rocket science, but it's not. We worked with a bunch of great associations, NCCR, the safety councils, where everybody can come in one spot and work together. And everybody led with yes, Jeremy. Everybody in this business leads with yes. And that's what's so cool about it. And we led with yes, and we built this facility for them to put it in. You know, Stevie, uh, Turner has Louisiana roots, right? Uh, born in Louisiana. But what does Texas mean to Turner Industries? Well, if you ask my daughter that went to school here, she'll say Texas means everything. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, to us, Texas has always meant, there's, there's always been, you know, we knew this was the bedrock where the industry was founded. I mean, it's just it, everything here uh, starts here, it's bigger here, and you know, we joke about Texas being bigger, but our customers are here. They always have been. Uh, we, people look at us as a Louisiana contractor. Like, we're, we, we headquartered in Louisiana, and we're very proud of that. We're very proud of our roots. But Texas has been a mainstay for us, and, and the people of Texas and the businesses that are here in Texas have been so supportive. I mean, we have facilities. As soon as you cross the state line coming in here, a, a great office and a great team in Beaumont. You're around the corner here in Pasadena. I mean, all the way down Port Lavaca, all the way down Dinner and Corpus Christi. I mean, just, just a great team that works together. They recruit together, and um, 
Texas has always pushed us a little bit harder. Hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Uh, we're very, very proud to be here. And again, over four decades of, of, of a tremendous success here, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, over 40 years in Texas Absolutely. has been your presence. Yes, yeah. yes. So, um, uh, Steve, you can feel the energy in the parking lot. You can see the community here, uh, tons of people here at the, at the event today. Um, uh, you know, I guess just to wrap up this interview, uh, is there anything else you'd like to say uh, to kind of close out? To the people of Texas, to Pasadena, everybody who's been so supportive. And, and let me tell you, this business, people talk about it sometimes. They go, oh, well, it's, it's old. It's yesterday's business. Jeremy, it's not. Everything we do in this business is for driving the energy of the world, what makes this world go around, be it the products or the plastics and everything. There's a whole lot of great plastics in Teslas. There's a whole lot of great plastics in computers. And we're not going to do, with that, do away with oil anytime soon. So if you want to get into a business, look, there's 7 million people in the construction business. One out of four own their own business. I don't think there's a better, I don't think there's a better career. Now, I'm a little bit jaundiced on that. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever thought about it, you ever think you want to come to work, give it a try. Come to Turner. Go to anybody in this business. Uh, it works great together, and we're proud to be here. Thanks. I had a blast hanging out, Stevie. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much.